Hi, I'm Paul Kasabian and I'm a structural engineer. And last time we covered how cables work. So this time we're covering the second kind of primary color of structure, the arch. And the arch is the opposite of a cable. A cable carries tension only, whereas an arch, certainly of this type, carries compression only. So just like a cable pulls in from the sides because it's spanning from one hand of mine to the other, so in reverse, an arch under load, under its own weight or being pushed on, pushes outwards. Now, we can see the direction of the force in a cable because a cable carrying tension can only take the shape of the forces on it. But an arch, however, is rigid. So you cannot see the force line or the direction of the force in an arch, but it's there. In fact, for the same load, it's the same shape that a cable would be, but reversed. And we call that a thrust line. And thrust lines are important because, in fact, it's our way of understanding how force goes through an arch. Now, a cable can only fail in one way. It can break. It's a material failure. I keep pulling, pulling, the tension gets so big that the chains, the, the strands, the wire strands, um, snap. So an arch, though, can fail in two ways in the same kind of way as a cable, where if I kept pushing and pushing and you know, my immense strength, I pushed so much that by the time I was done, this would sort of all crush into powder, kind of a <laughs> sort of effect, right? That rarely happens. It takes an incredible amount of force to do it. But an arch can also fail in an instability way, a kind of buckling manner. And it does that at a much lower load and when the load's in a certain place. And it's, the load's not in a situation where, as I was showing, it's all evenly balanced around it, because then the thrust line stays in the arch, and that's a great way for an arch to stay stable. Whereas, in fact, um, if you put a load, not even up here in the middle, but up just over here, sort of on the quarter point of its span, pushed down, that's a really sensitive spot for an arch. And I'll be able to sort of explain this to you by showing you that if I did the same with a cable here, if I put like a point load down at that quarter point, that's the shape a cable takes. So if I reverse that, I'm just going to flip my thumb and there we go, finger around, right. You can see that would be the opposite shape of a, that a cable would take, which we're calling here a thrust line. And right down on that long diagonal, if you can look, it doesn't stay in the line or the shape of the arch anymore. It leaves it. That thrust line is outside the arch shape. So what does that mean? That means that there's a sensitive area for it to buckle outwards when that thrust line of compression leaves the arch. So what does that look like? So now that I've explained it, we we'll sort of put down. I'm going to put this, this finger right here is going to be pushing down and it, it causes a kind of um, oops, I have to keep this nice and stable. Let's see. This is the issue with keeping things stable and not. It keeps it right there it is. Whoa. See that? I'm pushing down here, and as I push ever so slightly more with this little finger, I can buckle this arch. And I let go slightly, it comes back. And I push again, and it goes up. That is very little force, but applied at the right spot on an arch to cause it to buckle. And then I can take it back here, and this is all nice and balanced again. So, what we have in the little summary here is tension in a cable is the same in reversed shape to compression in an arch. And if that compression line in an arch that we call a thrust line leaves the arch itself, you can cause instability and failure of an arch. So if you're ever walking across an arch bridge and you're trying to walk across it, don't worry about trying to get here. You've got to get past that little quarter point 
<laughs> and if you do that, then you'd probably be fine. So that is how arches work. So hey, if you like these explanations about cables and arches, click like and subscribe, and then you'll see all the other videos that I'm going to be posting for all the other parts of how structures behave. And uh, should we do it? Should we just push down? I didn't do this in the main video, but there we go. Failure. <laughs> okay, like and subscribe. See ya.